Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a two-parter. I basically took off to get some time away from everything and some space because I've been going through a very difficult time. I went to Devon, which is about 300 miles away from where I live. I literally decided without much thought, booked it, packed, left within a few hours because I was highly stressed out and not thinking straight I didn't really think too much about what I was taking so I want to show you what I took makeup wise and beauty wise in the next two videos um, I'll show you the bag that I took everything in just to give you an idea of how much there is it was this big canvas bag most of the makeup was taken in two makeup bags by Zoella. Um, there's that one, the canvas one, and this one. These held the majority of the makeup, but there are items of makeup that didn't fit in that were loose in the bag as well. I went away for a week in total. I didn't know if I was going to come back after a week or if I was going to stay or go somewhere else so I wasn't thinking straight when I packed but I hoped that I'd packed wisely makeup wise so the first thing and the thing I was most happy about when I unpacked was my Naked Ultimate Basics palette this has been used every single day since the beginning of the year as you can see or maybe not be able to see that is heavily used but basically I was using that all over then that then a bit of that and that was the main eyeshadow that I was using then I took two foundations I took this Rimmel lasting finish foundation in the shade ivory this is slightly too dark for me but it's a thicker coverage and that's probably why I took it but there was enough for one use which obviously wasn't good and obviously I didn't check before I went the next item is a mascara I opened not too long ago I have used this mascara before and I think I've got another one that's unopened obviously because I like it I bought it and this is the one that I used every day Obviously by me saying that's the one I used every day, I obviously took another one, or two, as you'll see. Then, as always, this would have been in my bag anyway, if it will focus, it's Carmex. I use this every day several times, and you can hardly tell it's been used really. Next, I took my favourite BB cream out of the, cream, the ones that I have. It's the Garnier BB Cream. I didn't actually use this. And this is quite good. I didn't really want makeup on or a heavy makeup look because I weren't thinking about makeup really. But I'm glad I actually took that. It would have been useful if I'd remembered. Next I took some cotton pads. Didn't end up using them but they're always handy. Then I took three makeup brushes. I took my powder brush because I use powder every day just to set my makeup. So I took my Real Techniques powder brush. Then I took two eyeshadow brushes. The thicker one, obviously, for the lighter colour, and then this one the darker colour on my lid then the foundation I used every day is Match Perfection by Rimmel in the shade Porcelain this is a true match to my skin tone but I found it was too light a coverage I was suffering very badly with my skin when I was down there my skin just turned into the most hideous acne covered skin especially around my chin and neck 
and this didn't cover it so I was very subconscious if this hadn't run out this would have been what I would have used but it ran out so even though I do love this and I love the coverage for normal day to day I needed something heavier on my face because I was really struggling with my skin then I took this this is my second one in this shade this is the nude bronze one for four pounds this is absolutely amazing my last one I absolutely hit pan on the first three shades and then these two were heavily used and I didn't really touch that much so I binned it because I had this one this was brand new when I went to Devon with it and I used to just put a little bit of this on my lid just to darken it and give it a little bit of shimmer because the matte doesn't draw attention to my eyes the way a bit of shimmer would if you're looking for a cheap eyeshadow palette that is really pigmented and good quality then I highly recommend this nude bronze one so I'm glad that I had that with me next I took this which is the fix and protect primer by Rimmel it's got an SPF of 25 I probably just packed this because I've literally been using this every single day since I got it I think I got it either the last couple of days of January or the first few days of February so that's why I would have took it I'm not 100% sure if I like it because I've only used it with this foundation and this foundation the matte perfection foundation wears off quite easily and this didn't seem to hold on to the foundation the way I would hope or want it to but I'm going to try it with another foundation and just see if it's just the foundation that made it come off easily next as always this is the powder that I've been using every day well every time I do my makeup for the past 18 months it's the Maybelline the matte maker this is the shade classic ivory and it was brand new never been used before I mainly just use it on my forehead so my fringe doesn't stick to my forehead but I do lightly set my makeup elsewhere with it and for the price it's pretty good so I'm glad I took that next I took High Beam by Benefit this is just the sample size well it's big but I only used it a couple of times then I took a liquid eyeliner I wouldn't have took this if I was thinking um, I do like a nice thin line just to make my lashes look a little bit longer and fuller but I didn't use it I would have preferred a pencil eyeliner if I was going to use an eyeliner just because I wasn't down there to look good and then there's just three more products I took my false lash sculpt mascara by L'Oreal I think I used this one day possibly the last day or the day before the last day I just used it just to change my mascara and there was another mascara but I put it away and I've just remembered I also took the L'Oreal Miss Manga Punky mascara that's the black one with the metallic green lid um, I never used it it was a brand new one uh, I didn't need to take three mascaras then is my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade, I think it's the lightest one, I think it's light medium. I need to buy another one of these, but this is the best product that I've had for a while. Um, I have very really light blonde eye brows and this makes them darker and more defined. And then the final product which I definitely needed and used is my collection Last Imperfection Concealer in the shade 1 which is fur um, that was the best thing I took um, so I didn't need to take the liquid eyeliner thinking about it I could have done with either my Wake Me Up foundation or a full lasting finish foundation I would have took the BB cream, the powder the eyeshadows were right but if I wanted to travel lighter I probably would have took my Maybelline palette I can't remember the name of it but I'll insert a picture here I 
I would take the powder, I'd possibly take a primer, I would take two mascaras in case one ran out, I'm happy that I took my lip balm, there was a couple of lipsticks in my bag so with the makeup it wasn't too much really, I think I possibly wouldn't have took my Urban Decay palette, I think that's the only thing and I would have took a pencil eyeliner instead of the liquid one because obviously I didn't go out or do anything. So thank you for watching. My next video will be a video showing you what I took toiletry and hair care wise. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.